In today's video, I'm going to continue with the Interaction SDK tutorials. And specifically, we're going to be looking at how to implement different grab interactions. Some of these interactions are going to work with the controller, some of them are going to work with our hands, and I'm also going to walk you through a component called the Grabable, where we can basically designate different behavior of how we actually grab an object. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the Oculus Interaction Sample Rig, which you can get from the samples in the Prefats folder. Once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and expand the OVR, Input OVR, then Controllers, Left and Right Controllers, and you're going to see that we have a Controller Interactors and also a Controller Interactor on the right controller. So we're going to go into Runtime, and then prefabs, then go into the graph folder. And you're going to see that we have basically a controller grab interactor, which we can basically drag and drop into each controller on the left controller. We're going to add it in there and then also on the right controller. So now we should have a controller with each grab interactor. And the next thing that you can do is you can basically drag and drop the left controller here on the or controller ref, because that's going to be one of the requirements and also the right controller it's going to go into the controller ref for the right controller. The next thing that I want to show you is how we can grab now interactables. And I'm going to go ahead and use this folder in here. Let's put it on the very bottom. And we have a component here called the grab interactable. We can go ahead and drag it and drop it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here so we can create different experiences. So if I were to grab that one, if I move it down in here, this is going to be the default. There's really nothing in here other than we have a grab interactable. We also have a grabable object, also a rigid body. So the first thing that you need to do to make this work is we need to associate the rigid body in here and also the grabable component. Then what I'll do here, I'll just go ahead and clone it and I'm going to show you how we can do, we can do another one. This one is just going to be also the same way, except that we're going to be adding a new component in here. I'll just call it the one grab free transformer. By default, the other one it's going to it's going to basically behave the same way that this one behaves. I just drag it and drop it in here, and this is more for clarity so that you know what's happening behind the scenes. So the next thing that I need to do before I run this example is we're going to go into the interactable debug visual, and there's one thing in here that we need to do. Otherwise, we're going to get an exception. Is go ahead and drag and drop the grab interactable under the interactable debug visual, and it's going to allow us to basically change the color if we're selecting the cube with the controller. And I'm going to do the same thing with this other one. We can just go ahead and drag it and drop it in there. Okay, so I got the controllers here up and running. And you guys can see that as soon as I get you know, close to the cube, the cube is changing to green when I am selecting it. If I let go of the selection, you can see that it changes to blue. And then also if I am colliding, it changes to blue. But as soon as I'm not doing anything with it, it changes to it changes to red. So that just allows me to determine if I am within the selection area and also if I am, you know, currently selecting an object. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and play with rotation, right? So in many experiences, you may want to constrain rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this one here and then maybe clone it one more time. So I'm going to clone it three times so that we can rotate those and we can go ahead and just rename these ones. So I'm probably just to grab interactable and I'll name these ones nicely once you get it in, in GitHub so you guys can see how each one of these interactables is going to work. So on this first one, we're going to go ahead and change a couple of things in here. So I'm going to change the one grab free transformer. We're going to go ahead and remove this component. And then for this one, we're just going to do the grab and then there should be a one grab rotate transformer, which we're going to be adding. And by default, it doesn't have any, any constraints other than the rotation axis. So we can go ahead and copy this component. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this one as well. We can remove this one and then paste it as new. This one, I'm going to change it to be constrained on the, on the right rotation axis. And then we can do the same thing with this other one right here, remove that component, and then basically right click in here to add the component as new. And then this one we can just do, I think I can do forward on that one. So we should have a forward, a right, and an up. And then the last thing that I need to do on these three is we need to make sure that we associate it with the right one grab transformer. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it and drop it into this one. We can do the same thing with this other one and I'll do the same thing with this. Okay, so I should be able to select the other ones just like I did before. And then with these ones, we can, we can see that we have a, a constraint in here. I also have a, a Y constraint on this one. 
this one is on X, and then this one is basically constrained on the Z axis. So next one that I wanna do is I wanna show you how we can use also physics with some of these components. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone this one, and I'm just gonna go ahead and move these ones up a little bit because I think once I was rotating them, they were on the way. Okay, so I'm gonna create two of them in here. One of them is gonna be physical with kinematics and the other one is not gonna have any kinematics. So on this first one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this component in here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and search for one grab. And you're gonna see that we have one grab physics joint transformer. And you have an option in here to do a custom join if you wanted to use a custom join. In my case, I'm not gonna use a custom join. But then I'll do the same thing that I did before. Let's go ahead and drag it and drop it in here. And then on this one, I'll just do the same thing. We'll just remove that component and then just add that and then drag it and drop it into the one grab transformer. And then I think one I'm gonna use as kinematic. The other one is not gonna be used as kinematic. And then what I'll do here, I'll just go ahead and rename this one. It's gonna be grab interactable and then hit enter. The one that I have that is kinematic grab, we can just go ahead and change it here. I'm actually gonna use gravity on both of them. We can go ahead and uncheck it. The, the way that it's gonna work is basically one is just gonna be using a kinematic grab. The other one is not gonna be using a kinematic grab, which means that when I'm grabbing an object, the property of the rigid body is gonna change you know, to kinematic and it's not gonna have any gravity. And then as soon as I let go, the object is gonna fall. You can grab this object and you're gonna see that everything is falling as well in here. And then I'll just do the same thing on this one. This one is kind of falling because the, remember I didn't say kinematic on this one, so it's basically trying to do its best to, to keep the object. This one is kinematic, so the object is staying with the controller. What I'm gonna do on this one is just gonna go ahead and clone it here. Let's give it a, a nice name. It's just gonna be grab interactable. And then we can add a new component here, which is gonna be the one grab translate transformer. And then again, we're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop this. And for the values on this one, I think I ended up just doing, we can just collapse and collapse the Y axis for now because I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. I'm gonna constrain the Z axis and basically on the on zero, we're gonna be doing for the minimum and then for the maximum, I think I ended up doing 0.25. And then for the for the minimum Y and the maximum Y, I'm also going to do a constraining here. But for this one, I ended up doing also a start at zero and then also starting at the, basically the max is gonna be 0.5. So with this though, if you set this maximum and minimum values, if you don't set this property to relative, this is gonna basically try to reset the position of the object. So we wanna make sure that we set this to constraint as relative so that the offsets are gonna be applying from the object. Okay, so let me go ahead and try this. So I'm gonna try to move it forward. You can see that I can move it forward. I can't really bring it back further away from zero because the maximum was basically the, the minimum value was zero and then the maximum was 0.25. And then if I wanted to, you know, move it to the right or move it to the left, I think if I do up, that's gonna be the maximum of 0.5. And then the minimum is gonna be the location where I started from. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna create another one in here. And this one is going to be two grab, and this is gonna be the two grab free transformer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop these as well. I'm gonna be setting a couple of constraints in here as well. I'm gonna do the constraints a relative, and I'm gonna do a constraint on the on the minimum scale and also the maximum scale. I think if I want to scale these two up, you know, to 0.5, we can do we can do that. Make sure that we go back in here and uncheck the constraints are relative. Otherwise, the sizing is not gonna be correct. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this small cube in here. I'm gonna try to resize it and resize it down. See if we can resize it to be really tiny. I'll put it right over there. Let's grab the big one. You guys can see that now the scaling is much larger because I went to and set it to 0.5 on the scale. That's everything that I wanted to show you. And also, I wanted to thank all my patrons for supporting me over the last few years. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much, guys.